So it turns out that there are internment camps in Canada for people with COVID. In fact, it's a holding center right here, the Radisson Hotel on Dixon Road, out next to Pearson International Airport. And not only are there dozens of people that are being held here, but they cannot leave until they're cleared. And one of the men that's inside, his name is Steve Dusing, and he has some very strong views on this. On every floor, we got brought in here by shuttle. Uh, it was not a good experience. It took us a long time to get here. As you can see, we're not that far from the airport. Um, yeah, they're giving us three meals a day, which are not, I mean, I showed you a couple pictures of food. It's not that great. We're not allowed to order anything in here. I don't know why. I mean, Swiss Chalet is right there. We can get Uber and everything. And yeah, I really just, like I said, I'm a single guy. It's not affecting me as much as it would a family or needs or anything like that, so I couldn't imagine trying to go through this with the kids or something like that. Why are you in there? I mean, you have uh, you have COVID-19? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, I tested negative on the 29th. I got a test from, I was in America, and they told, we were told on the thing, we even called the helpline, uh, said on the website that we needed a negative test within 72 hours. The only test that would give me a result within 72 hours was the rapid test, so that's the one I had to go with. And when I got here, they said that was not valid. Even though they checked it four times before I got on the plane in Charlotte, and I just I don't understand why I was even allowed on the plane if it wasn't a valid test. The question is, do we want as a country to have an operation like this? In the case of Steve Dusing, he had a test, as the government required. It was negative, but it wasn't accepted here. And under the threat of going to jail, he was quarantined against his will at this hotel. Yeah, there's Brian, but uh, yeah, we're not allowed to get any outside food from anybody, from Uber or from a family member or anything. I couldn't even get a pack of smokes. They told me I weren't allowed to get a pack of smokes. Is this the right thing to do? Or is this cruel and unusual punishment? Whatever it is, it's another great debate in this pandemic that's happening right here in Canada and in the city of Toronto. With Jack Boland out covering the pandemic in the year 2021, Joe Warmington, Toronto Sun.